all probably know from my previous video, I lost a whole entire episode. Like, besides one minute and 38 seconds, I believe it is, the entire video is lost. Gone. Which really sucks for me. Um, and I'm going to go down a mine while I talk to you guys. It really sucks for me in many ways. Because I've put some work into that. And when I put work into something, I expect that work to be good. I expect the work to be the best that I can do. And I also expect that when I've done that work, it's done. You know what I mean? Um, and I expect to be able to use it, especially when it comes into YouTube videos. But unfortunately, that's not the case. Um, recording like normal. Uh, I did use Fraps. I mean, I mean, okay, my normal recording sort of thing is Fraps. I use Fraps Record, which makes really freaking huge videos. It makes the best video possible. It's very easy to use. The frame rate is friggin' awesome. It is. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, more diamonds. Uh, by the way, in case the... Holy crap. Title did not give it away. We find a crap ton of friggin' diamonds. I tell you what, this map has been so good to me, unlike Fraps. Now, Fraps is no longer supported by its own creator. It's not. Fraps is dead. It's been dead for several years now. The program's good. I kind of wished there was another option to be able to encode the video down to MP4 prior to uh, recording, because that would be so much better. But it doesn't have that ability, unfortunately. So again, I'm kind of stuck with using Fraps, or at least I was. But the problem with Fraps, and the problem with me using Fraps, is again, it took too much space. I mean, I have, literally, I'm not even kidding, guys. I have got two terabyte, three terabyte, I think I've got four terabytes now. Um, thanks to my Patreon page, I was able to purchase another terabyte drive, so I have four terabytes. One of those is empty. Um, actually, one's a one and a half terabyte. That is full. This two terabyte drive that I'm using right now is just about full and was full until I removed some Better Than Wolves videos. Now, I'm going to, in future, refrain from moving, removing Better Than Wolves videos because, one, it's one of the most popular videos on my channel, video series on my channel. Um, and if I do get an issue like last time where the video was corrupt, I can go back and recreate that video so long as I have the original video. Now, what happened was... I created the video. I didn't actually play the video I created because I assumed, as Lightworks was finished, that it was done. And it had a video. It said 33 minutes. I played the first couple seconds. Great. Wonderful. That's done. Move on to the next thing that I'm doing, right? After I've done the, the editing and so forth. And then the other night, actually just before I posted the video and uploaded it, I deleted the videos. Why? Well, like I said, I it, one hour video is literally several hundred gigs of file space. And that's a lot of freaking space. I'm telling you guys, that's a lot of space. Um, so, yeah, I literally broke a computer sitting here. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll post it on my Patreon page, uh, the computer that got absolutely trashed when I found out that the video was gone, and I had no backup footage. Um, and Lightwork still had the video saved where I made all the edits, but there was no video. It was just saving the positions that I edited. So there was nothing. So I completely chucked and broke the crap out of this computer sitting in my recording space. Uh, it was it was a junk computer. There was actually no motherboard in it. It was I liked it because it was a cool case. But I was so mad that that had happened. And this is not the first time it's happened, so I should have probably thought of that. But it, the last time that happened was a long time ago. And it was a video. I'm not, I don't think it was Better Than Wolves. I can't remember which one it was. But it was a long time ago. I thought I was past that. I thought I was safe. I thought I was secure. But no. So that got me into thinking. I need to have better software. Um, it's great. I mean, I've got another terabyte drive, so that's awesome. I... I, I I can still record their fraps and just ensure that 
my one terabyte drive that I just got thanks to Patreon support. You guys are awesome for the support on Patreon. It has been good. I've been able to use that money to buy that drive. Um, so I could just make sure that my popular stuff like Better Than Wolves always ends up on that drive. So I have a backup, and just in case the you know, the poop hits the fan sort of thing, and like what happened just this last week. Ah, I can't tell you. It was so, oh. It was a good video, too. We we go we go into the mine shaft. We literally go through the whole entire thing, find so much cool stuff, and we fight our way around. I get lost. I completely get lost, um, which, uh, you know, I, that's me and, and mine shafts. It's just so hard for me to to be able to actually find my way out of one of those things. But it's really, really awesome mine shaft. It's huge. I didn't explore the whole thing, so there is still more to explore, which we'll probably will we'll do in a later video. But yeah, it was mm, it was really heartbreaking for me, and literally, I was just about to cry. Seriously, I had put a lot of work into that, and I was expecting that to be nice and awesome, and be able to be, you know, excited about what I put out there, happy, and pleased with the quality of my work, and I couldn't do that. I get a lot of satisfaction out of making Better Than Wolves um, videos, and making videos in general. I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. It's fun for me to do. I love putting them out there. And I love the responses that I get from you guys laughing along with me when I, when I epically screw up, or when something is a success and it actually works. It's awesome. My, my frustrations and my joys you guys feel with me while playing this game. So I enjoy that. Um, so... I've come to a decision, and I'm forward-thinking now. Obviously, Fraps is old. It has limitations, and I love doing videos. I also love doing just long-played videos, as you've seen from several of my server playlists. Those are hours long, and I do modify them. Sorry, uh, edit them and put them on YouTube. But I want to start streaming, and I don't know if there's enough people to sit there and watch, because, to be honest, if I'm streaming and no one's there it's gonna be like okay so I'm streaming no one's here so I'm talking to myself I'm just doing a YouTube video like normal but I want to get into streaming so I'm thinking forward I also want to be able to know that I can keep backups of my videos I hate deleting videos because this is work that I've put in and having to delete them is kind of you know what if I want to use that video again in a in another video what if I want to use it in an advertisement video what if I want to do a recap video, but I can't because all my videos are dead, are gone, deleted, removed due to space issues, and that sucks. So I thought, okay, what's the main issue here? Well, one, I'm seriously thinking about changing um, my video editing software from Lightworks because I don't pay for it. I paid for Fraps, so I get the full Fraps. That's why I use it still, because I paid for it ages ago. Um, but I didn't pay for Lightworks, and when you don't pay for Lightworks, you're limited. Lightworks is an awesome program, don't get me wrong. But the few things that I've known is, one, it eats computer processing like crazy, which, I mean, that's what's going to happen with editing video. Two, uh, I get that occasion where it doesn't work, where I get a corrupted video that says 32 minutes long. It looks like when you start playing it, it's 32 minutes long. But once you get past maybe a minute 30 or whatever, it's done. It's gone. It didn't actually render the video. It didn't actually create the video. Which really sucks. What the crap? Hey, where'd you come from? Sir, what the? Oh, you are so friggin' dead. Where'd you come from? I bet he came from up here. Nah, he was sat over here. It's probably really dark in here somewhere. Did he come? I don't know. I gotta get those goggles. Anyway. Uh, like I was saying. So, yeah, I, I've had to come to a decision about that. I'm not sure yet. I'm still using, I'm still going to be using for this video. Um, Lightworks, it's going to be 720p. It's limited. It's got limitations. And, I mean, that's, it's free software. What are you going to expect? Right? Well, sorry, it's a trial software. So, at least I get the full version. I don't get some really dumb and annoying... Uh, like advertisement over top of my video so you got this little uh, what are they called um, uh, 
don't know what they're called, but basically they put their logo on your, oh crap, on all of your videos, and I don't have, uh, it doesn't have that, so that is cool, and it is good, and I recommend if you're starting off YouTube, and this is, you're doing like your first couple videos or whatever, I recommend using it, it is really easy to use, it's awesome, there's a lot of capability to it, they did change recently, which I did kind of, did kind of annoy me in version 14, but I learned how to fix it and work with it the way I normally work with it. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, it, it's a good program to use if you're starting off. I recommend it. However, that being said, I can only do 720p. Now I've got a awesome graphics card, a 970. Okay, it's not the best out there, but still it's a 970. You know, it's it's almost able to do VR. So surely I could put out a better video than a 720p. You know, surely. And I, I have a 1080p screen. Surely I could do better at what kind of video I put out. Right? So, again, that being said, I'm looking at a new software to use that will allow me to do better quality output. And there's quite a few out there. I'm more looking in the realm of free, because <laughs> I'm currently not paying for this. Um, and until, you know, I get better subscribership on... Um, on Patreon, um, and until I am able to recoup some of the costs put into it, it's going to be kind of put on the back seat for now in regards to paying for programs. I know there's lots of good programs out there to pay for, but I haven't yet made enough money to do that. So, I mean, as, as subscribers go up and as I get more Patreon um, supporters, that's kind of the way that I'll go. I'll, I'll buy better products to do better a better job. Obviously, a better mic. Um, and that's one thing that's on my list to do, but I know that was on my list to do earlier, but to be honest, more hydrogen space was a lot more important to me at the time because, yeah, it, it, uh, it's definitely going to do me so much better right now than a better microphone because it means that I can make sure that when I give you a video, it's not going to be a minute 38 because I'll have the backup video. I can recreate it in case, you know, poop hits the fan sort of thing, so... Anyway, leaving that, so going away from editing, which was sort of an issue and I was really ticked off about it, I, I was seriously thinking about throwing my computer, which I'm not going to. It's not a brand new computer, but it's a decent one. So what I've also decided, along with possibly changing that, is I am definitely changing away from Fraps. I've been using Fraps for years now, for probably a good five years. Ever since I have began recording, has been with Fraps always. Fraps has been good to me. I loved it. It's awesome. However, it's it's just too big of a file size. It's no longer supported, and it doesn't have all the capabilities as the current one I'm using right now. Yes, right now I am not using Fraps. I'm using a uh, recorder called OBS, Open Broadcasts. I don't know what it's, I don't know what it really stands for, but it's free. I can use it on Linux, which is actually my main system I do for work is a Linux based system. I do like Linux because it's free and I'm not getting all that Windows 10 crap of invasions of privacy and you could do a lot with it. I mean seriously I love it. I'm absolutely loving it. I've just changed it to my daily driver for work like I don't actually have anything other than Linux running on that machine. I do kind of dual boot with Windows but I don't actually access that Windows uh, partition anymore so it's just Linux. So anyway if you, have, if you have interest in Linux and want me to talk more about Linux and how you can mess around with it and why I think it's best, you know, maybe I'll do a video on that. Just comment below if you want to hear my thoughts on Linux and Windows. I'm actually very disappointed in Windows as of late. They've, sure, they, I mean, I understand they want money, but it's just gotten crazy about how power hungry they are, especially with their new programs that appear to be cheap and easy. You know, the upgrade to Windows 10 was quote unquote free, but it wasn't. You lost freedoms. Anyway, if you want to hear me talk about that kind of stuff, just comment below and I will talk more about my thoughts on that. But besides the point, OBS works on it, which means I could also possibly be recording from my from Linux if I ever decide to completely change. This rig I'm working on right now is Windows. It just is. It's what it was. And it's what runs really well on it, and I've already have a license for it, so I'm using Windows. That may change in the future. We'll see. And it's great that OBS could do that. But the other thing that OBS can do is it can do so much. Like, seriously, I was watching some 
videos on what it can do and it's pretty freaking awesome I have to say like I can have little videos in the corner up here I can have images I can flick to a screen that'll automatically play a video so I can like say hey guys I've got this video clip I want to show you and I can flick to that screen right away both in a regular recording like this or in a stream and that brings me to the other thing it does streaming and I've never really done streaming, but it's like I said earlier in this episode, it's something that I want to do. And it's something I really want to do sort of badly. Not really badly, but I've seen people doing I thought, you know what, this looks pretty cool. I would really like to do some streaming. I don't know what you guys think. If you guys would watch it, maybe you would, maybe you won't. Um, the, the one of the one thing, sorry, blah, 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 blah. my tongue's just flabbing around there. The main thing that's kind of kept me from doing that in the past is just the fact that I'm in New Zealand, right? Right now I'm in New Zealand. Uh, there'll be the possibility of me moving to America. Again, I mean, I'm an American, but we are probably moving back there in the future soon. So that's that probably won't be too big of an issue. But it is sort of an issue with time. It's different time scales so for you guys if I were to record when I normally record or if I were to stream when I normally record it would not be good for you because <laughs> it'd be like the middle of the night for you um, which doesn't work well and I'd have to figure out a good time to do it so I wouldn't be able to do it very often uh, probably weekends and maybe when my kids are taking a nap but that again that's that's in the afternoon so it doesn't work well but I'm going to try to find out a time to do it because I really want to try streaming out. And OBS does streaming. It does streaming. And it does streaming really cool. I can have an intro play. I can have several videos set up. I can have a picture of me showing like I I don't have currently. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was scary. Did not mean to do that. Thank goodness that stopped quick. <laughs> I think I got one. No, I didn't get one that was finished. Okay, wow. Wow. Think before you do. Think before you do. Oh. I know it's... I mean, I just didn't want to waste the growth rates. Oh, I did get this one over here. Oh, two. Okay, well. All right. They're back. Um, yeah, anyway. So, I can do that. I can do my streaming, which is something that I've, I want to do. It's on my list to do, is stream. To give you guys the ability of not just watching videos, but streaming them with me. Maybe doing a BTW stream where I do a lot longer of a recording. And we just chill out and we go through and we do a big task or a big... Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, like 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 maybe making the mob farm kind of thing. Something that's, that's going to take not too much thinking. Where I can just have a chat with you guys. Take a look at the, at the chats that are going on and be able to play the game while actually talking to you guys. Where do my chickens go? Time to collect, chickens. Time to collect. Come here, come here. There we go. Um, I know I said... Uh, uh, again, my tongue. My tongue gets tongue-tied occasionally, and it's a little bit annoying, but... I can't do anything about it. So anyway, back to what I was saying. We could live stream sort of big builds that I'm doing or traveling that I'm doing, going from place to place. So you guys can see kind of how I go from a day to, uh, you know, day-to-day -day basis of, of what I do to play Minecraft uh, or Better Than Wolves or whatever. I'm also thinking about branching out on other games. I'm not too sure what I want to do. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love Minecraft. I've been playing it for ages. I'm not going to be stopping anytime soon. But, I am interested in doing some new things. Doing something else. Don't know what that is yet. I do like to play and have purchased uh, Seven Days to Die. I enjoy playing that. It's pretty fun. It's different. It is, does sort of have a building aspect to it, but not much. It's gone much more in the way of open world, apocalypse... Uh, zombie apocalypse. You know, that's the kind of game that I like to play because I like to think of the zombie apocalypse. I like watching 
um, what's it called? Uh, the Walking Dead. It's one of my favorite shows. It's pretty flipping cool. So, yeah, it, it, it kind of brings me into that a little bit more because it's all modern day technology that you're using in that game. So it is a very cool game. Obviously, this game's not going anywhere. I will eventually do a season two on this because I'll be yeah I'll be doing two season two season three. I I've I've actually been thinking for a long time before I started recording that I should probably record because I I enjoy it a lot, uh, but I just never have. So that, I guess that's the kind of thing I just never have. But I'm glad that I have started now, and I'm sure some of you guys are glad I've started as well. And I'm trying to make my way forward um, as well. And not just be only Minecraft, although most of it will probably be Minecraft, just to tell you. I have tried other mod packs as well. I have had a big resounding uh, suggestion from you guys that Terraformer Craft would be something that I'd want to play. And I have played it in the past. I found playing it to be a little bit dull. <laughs> I don't know why. Um... I guess just because the lack of challenge. Of course, this is going back a long time ago. Um, and now I know that it's a lot different. So that might be something I'll do. And I've also heard of Terra Firma, Terra Firma Punk. So that interested me when, when someone commented on that. I can't remember who it was at this time. I am so sorry if I forgot your name um, about suggesting it. But just let me know in the comments who you are. I do apologize. I should go back and look. But right now, I do apologize. I don't remember who it was who made the comment. Uh, my mind just is blank right now. But thank you for that comment because Terra Firma Punk sounds pretty friggin' awesome. Because, as you know, I play a little bit of uh, Tekkit. And the Tekkit mods that I play are based on a little bit harder ways of getting energy and so forth. So that I So it's a bit of a challenge. So yeah, that'd definitely be something I'd be interested in. Also... There is a heads up, I am starting a new Let's Play. Uh, it's it's going to be based off of... Oh, man. Oh, man, I can't even remember. Um, immersive Engineering, I think, is what it's called. Oh, wow, i got to feed the dog. Feed the dog. I'm going to feed him sandwiches. So, it's called Immersive Engineering. And it's it's a really cool mod. I've, I've just started playing it and I said you know I'm gonna record this just see how it goes and I have had so much fun playing that it's just a different again just a different way of playing tech mods it has its own take on it and it has the style of electrical wires that I have been wanting from a mod for a very long time I've always said that mods should have like real live wires, not like block wires like you normally have that are physical blocks, but one where you attach them together and you get that, you know, that that hang that all wires tend to do. Sorry if this is a bit loud. I am working on my uh, volumes, so if this is louder than my voice, I do apologize. I will get it right. These machines are loud as they are. But yeah, so... That's coming, and I just haven't edited them yet. I have a fair few episodes ready for that because I just started playing it, and I thought, wow, this is awesome. Now, I will say that the version of that Minecraft is 1.7.10. And you may notice from my videos and my playing that I really haven't gone past 1.7.10. My Tekkit mods haven't gone past it. Obviously, Better Than Wolves has it, and that's probably the only reason why I haven't gone past 1.7.10, because Better Than Wolves is 1.5. And I've, that's been playing that for ages. I love it. Love 1.5. It's like its own thing now. But 1.7.10 is kind of like where the Tekkit mods really came in, and that's why I play that. I haven't really played 1.11, 1.9. 1 1.9 did look really cool, though, I must say. I do want to have a play of the new... Um, attack things where you swing and it takes longer to swing sort of thing. Oh, by the way, I did extend this out like someone suggested because the witch came up and killed me, so now she'll fall in for sure. Hopefully. Maybe I should move it somewhere. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, so I want to uh, 
Oh man, that was my train of thought now. Hold on. Let me think. Sorry it took so long. It took long enough for me to get my <laughs> diamond ingots back. So what I was talking about was just the different versions of Minecraft. So I've, I've only played for really like two seconds the new 1.12 and instantly it pissed me off. <laughs> Excuse my language. But it really made me mad. And I'll tell you why. When I first started playing Minecraft back in like 2010, 2011, somewhere around there, probably 2011. I had no clue what I was doing. No friggin' clue what I was doing. Like, seriously. I, <laughs> I, I, I got out there. I'm stuck in this world. I'm like, what the heck do I do? Like, what do I do? So I started digging because there was mobs killing me and I was stuck in holes and stuck in everywhere. I didn't know how to make anything. I didn't know to, I, that I had to punch wood. I mean, that doesn't make any friggin' sense. What do you mean punch wood? Punch wood? What? No. So I didn't even know. I didn't even know I had to punch a tree. So not only did I not know that I had to punch a tree, I didn't know what to do. So I, I made this elaborate house out of dirt because I could. I get down to rock. I'm like, oh, yes, I can finally do rock things, breaking rocks. And I can have a, a sturdier home because the, these creepers keep blowing the crap out of my house. Nope. Definitely not. Uh... I break the rock with my fist and nothing happens. I'm like, what in the world? And then I turned to a guy called Paul Soros Jr. And I don't know if you know him. He's he started off. He's he's huge. Well, did get huge. I don't know if he's still doing Minecraft. I haven't really kind of stopped following after a while. But I found his how to survive the first night Minecraft. So I did look on YouTube. I looked actually on Google how to play Minecraft and really found nothing. But the one thing I did find was Paul Soros Jr.'s video, How to Survive Your First Night. And I watched that video and I thought, man, this is awesome. A YouTube video of how to play a game that you have no clue how to play. And this is why I don't like 1.12. 1. Yeah, 1.12. Because you get there. Oh, yeah, my first melon. We got our first melon, guys. So you get there. And... What happens? Oh. Oh, okay, I can put it in my crowd. <laughs> I know you have to drop these things, but I wasn't sure if you can... Yeah, okay. Anyway, so... What do I do with these? Just put them in here for now, I guess. Uh, they're food. So, anyway. One, I thought that was really awesome. He's creating videos. I want to create videos. That's really cool. 2012, started creating videos. Roughly. But when I played the new one... It goes through a tutorial. I was like, this just chips it for me. I have a recipe book of how to make all the base things. Like, where's the challenge? The challenge is gone. It's not there. Future generations of Minecrafters are going to be like, oh, okay, you do it this way, you do it that way. They're not going to look to YouTube videos to figure out how the best way to play a game is. You know, it's... It, I mean, besides YouTube, it was just, for me, it just took away the thing that drove me to Minecraft. It was hard. You have to try to remember how to play the friggin' game. What the flippin' recipes are, and so many other games copied off that. It's not even funny. The whole recipe thing. And it was just, yeah, it just wasn't the same. It just wasn't the same. And so, I just don't like it. I don't like it. I haven't really played too much of the new ones, so... From what I did gather, I didn't like it very much. The recipe thing, that was just like... Mm. I know I use it for 1.7.10, but there's the, the reason why I use it is because there's so many friggin' mods, it's hard to know. Like, it, it is really hard to know how to build something. Because there are so many friggin' mods, it's impossible to memorize all of the mods. I mean, seriously. It's impossible. To memorize all the friggin' mods. So, that's the thing. It's it's kind of cheaty. It's kind of... Uh, I don't really want to do it. It's, it's not a version of Minecraft that I really want to play anymore. I kind of just want to just settle down and just keep playing better than Wolves. 1.7. I might try 1.9. Because, in all honesty, that does look pretty cool. I've got to say. 1.9 with the new added feature of um, 
the new combat methods and stuff. That looks cool. One issue I do have with it is the fact that uh, you have bunnies. Like that was that was the big killer for me when it came to uh, going up to 1.8. I think it was it was the bunnies. I'm like, come on, really? We, I was just about to create my own mod called Better Than Friggin' Bunnies because Better Than Wolves kind of takes that take on wolves, but they actually put development time into bunnies. They took developers, paid them money to create friggin' bunnies. Bunnies! To create frigging bunnies! I mean... Why? It just... Oh. Like, wolves are pretty cool, especially since, um... Better Than Wolves, which actually uses wolves better, actually makes them a part of the game for doing something. You know, it... it, it and more challenging. It... It made sense what it did with wolves. But... Bunnies? Yeah. Can't get past 1.8. That's just... That's my that's my thing. It's it's just hard. Uh, I guess I could. And then the mansion. And then these these structures that have no purpose being in Minecraft. Like I, it just boggles my mind. Why are we having a mansion with ghosts? Why? What does that say say about the story of this world? This world, there's nothing in it. You've got this weird relicy place. You've got villagers that don't even speak. Right? So, I mean, that that's kind of its own thing. You've got... It's like you've landed here in space. Seriously. It's like this world is another world. Your spacecraft crashed, and you just landed here with nothing to do. And so you're just trying to figure things out about how to live in a world that you crash-landed on. There's weird places, real weird, like, villages with weird people that can't even speak, and they just do weird trades that don't even make sense. And then you have... Oh, something's dying. He's dying pretty weirdly. He's not dying with a saw. He's not dying with a saw. Sorry, guys. A cow's dying without a saw. How is there a cow dying without a saw? Mother flipper. Are you still attacking me? A cow just died. Why did a cow die? I'm coming over. I'm coming over to see you. What cow died and why? Where I picked I oh, picked up his yums. Oh, crap. He's gonna... They're gonna wig. They're gonna wig. They're gonna wig. Ah! 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 Okay. Whew. That was close. Not that. That. So, I don't know what killed my cow. I think it was water. Which sucks. These cows are big enough to swim in water. I don't know what's going on. And I want his meat. I want his meat. I need his meat. Where's his meat? What can I get rid of? Where's his meat? S did something eat him? Sorry, guys. I'm just confused. Something ate my cow. I don't even know why. Hmm. Alright. Oh, well. Don't know what happened there. Did my dog just poop? I think he did. Oh. Alright, don't know what happened. Anyway, uh, besides that... I think I can do that. Yeah. So, I uh, had a cow die and I don't know how he died or why he died. I think it has to do with the water flow, which really ticks me off because I'm trying to get that to work and it's just not working. Just not working. Again, that cow thing is cool. It's just, for some reason, I'm not getting it to work properly the way it should be working. 
Anyway. Uh, what was I talking about? Recent changes to Minecraft 1.10, maybe. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I may try one of those versions, but not likely. But I do want to try other games. So, anyway. Uh, all right, so, um, yeah, so changes to 1.12 suck. Uh, sorry, I had to go. I came right back. I'm just, remember, I'm testing this OBS software, ensuring that I'm doing things right, and ensuring I am actually recording properly and that it's saving properly. So, do apologize for having to leave. Uh, I noticed that something wasn't going right, and sure enough, I did lose a little bit of recording. That's okay. It's okay. This is the. This is the beginning sort of thing. I'm, I'm learning how to use this software. And once I learn how to use this software properly, we are going to be doing lots more stuff. So anyway, uh, reasons why I don't like the newer version, mainly because I don't like um, the fact that you have these weird buildings that are being created and you have the end that has its own weird buildings. I don't know. But tell you what, guys. You guys convince me in the comments. Try to convince me why. If you think so, I should try the newer versions of Minecraft. And if you convince me, I promise you, oops, that I will put a hole in my roof. <laughs> I will promise you that I will try it. I will give the new version of Minecraft an honest, solid go. But that's if you can convince me. And I just, I just don't see how any of the new changes... Can it all be good? Better Than Wolves tells a story. But Minecraft... Well, okay, Minecraft tells a story. But this new version of Minecraft, what story is it telling? You know? Seriously. What story is it telling? Whose story? It just doesn't make sense when you have this really odd thing. Like... Like a haunted mansion as a feature and bunnies 1.9 I might try but it's just again the bunnies why why the bunnies and then one random one kills you okay I like the nod to Monty Python on the Holy Grail but seriously seriously that's how you're gonna do the nod to Monty Python on the Holy Grail add bunnies put developer time into bunnies no thank you so anyway, I do want to give a shout out and thank you to my Patreon uh, supporters because with your help, I have been able to add a one terabyte hard drive to my collection of hard drives that I currently have, which means that I'm able to save and back up my recordings. I did check my recording that I just did before I left, and it's only seven gigs. Of course, I recorded to the wrong thing, FLV. Hopefully, my recording software accepts that. And I don't get screwed over by not being able to um, show that video to you either. So I've changed it now to MP4, which is what I'll probably be recording with. It doesn't take as much space as what I used to be recording to, which is good. But, yeah. So, we'll see. It's just going to make sure... I just need to make sure that I am recording and it's working properly. So, might be a couple uh, kinks to work out. But I'm willing to work with it because it's a smaller file size, which means I can make sure that I have my backups. And in case something crappy happens, like I lose an entire video, I can just say, oh, that's OK. I'll just try to render the video again. Let's let's let this go. We need some wheat. I'll try and render the video again. Done. Awesome. Are you serious? Did it really get caught up here as well already? Hmm. Not cool. I thought that I pretty much solved that by putting that up there. Oh well. No worries, Mike. No worries. Just go down and collect the rest of the stuff. So, yeah, that, that's going to be coming. I want to do more... Uh, like I said, the, one of the reasons why I'm choosing OBS is because it has a really good ability to do streaming. I want to do streaming. I want you guys to watch me play live. And I want to be able to have conversations with you guys live. I think that is such a cool idea. I think it's really awesome and I want to get involved in it. I want to start doing it. I think I think it would be something you guys would like. I'd like it. 
tell me in the comments if it's something that you'd be interested in. Obviously, it'd be a little bit difficult for me because I'm based in another country. So it means that I've got to find a time that works best for you guys, which tends to be 12 in the afternoon for me. It's usually when these videos come out, usually probably the best time to, rec to record a, a session for you guys as well. So, yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. It, uh, it it really does depend on on timing on that. But I mean, I mean, not we'll see as in I'm not going to do it. We'll see how often I can do it because I'm definitely going to do it. If you guys are saying, yeah, man, I'd love to do that because I don't want to be like sitting there all alone playing the game by myself anyway. And then just basically recording a YouTube video by myself like I'm doing now. I like it would be cool to actually have the interaction, see you guys commenting and saying, Oh hey, do this, oh hey, try that, oh hey, whatever. Shout out to you. You know? That would be cool. And this is also a good reason um, that we saw today for supporting my Patreon page. Because I have you guys have given me the ability, my Patreon subscribers, to be able to get a better hard or to get another hard drive to be able to record. Oops, don't eat that. Give that to the dog. Which is good for you guys, because it means we don't lose another friggin' episode like last time. That's not going to happen again, guys. Because, one, I'm using OBS, which means my file sizes are so much smaller, I can save them for longer. And, two, uh, because I have an extra solid, I have an extra hard drive, a one terabyte, no, sorry, yeah, one terabyte hard drive, that I will now be using for that explicit purpose of, before I delete anything, I move it to that hard drive. Because if something does happen, and I needed to create space for whatever reason, I now don't have to worry about it, because there it will be, ready for me to use, ready for me to pull out, and be like, ha, here we go, it works, ta-da. So, that's exactly what it's going to be for. So that's a thing of the past, it's not going to be happening again in the future. It annoyed me, so I can imagine it annoyed you. I, I work hard sometimes to get these things done sometimes obviously it's easier than you know sometimes it's it doesn't take as much work because it's it's easier episodes where i just nothing i had to edit out in the sense of bad content or i didn't have to do a whole mining scene and then realize that i lost a little bit of the footage because i forgot when i was recording you know it it it, it there's there's some work that has to go into it, but sometimes it's it's pretty simple. Sometimes it's actually I know exactly what I said. I didn't swear by accident. Um, I didn't say anything that I shouldn't have said. I didn't comment about my uh, my personal life like uh, that might offend somebody or somebody I know might be like, hey, he's talking about me. Um, you know, edit things out. Sometimes you got to edit things out. But the videos I don't have to do that on. Uh, it just means that there we go. it just means that it's quicker to do. So anyway, all that to say that sometimes my episodes are easier to make. That was really all I was trying to say. But anyway, supporting me on Patreon, it supports the channel. It's awesome. It helps me to be able to make fun videos. And so far, the only money I've spent is the money that I've gotten. And what I've spent it on, something to help me make better videos. And I really would like to get better editing software. Uh, I'm looking at free softwares because of I do like Lightworks. I'd love to buy the subscription of Lightworks, but at this stage it's not possible. It may be possible in the future. And I I have my starting points at like a dollar. And I think it goes a dollar, five dollars, but I'm gonna change that to do a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars because you know what? Every little bit helps. And the more people that help, the better. If I had <laughs> like a hundred people helping, that'd be like a hundred dollars a month. If everyone just paid a dollar a month. Seriously. Which means $100 a month. I could buy some pretty good recording software. I can update my studio so that it's better. Better with acoustics. I can get a really nice mic. You know? there's. I could probably even legit say, Hey, guess what? I'm taking off work today because I'm going to record videos. And they're going to be like, You're ridiculous. You're going to record videos. Yes, I'm taking off today because I'm recording videos. Well, we're not going to pay you. It doesn't matter because I've got an income to pay for one day of work a week. And that would be so freaking cool. If I could actually have this be my full-time job. Someday in the future. Anyway. Enough about that. If you like this video. Make sure you like it. If you loved it. Make sure you subscribe. And comment. And also let me know. What you think. If I should do a. Um, 
If I should start doing some, what's the word I'm thinking, uh, streaming, let me know. I really, I have the recording software now to do it. Let me know what you think about the video. How does the, how does the video look? Does it look grainy? Does it look good as the other ones? Because it's going to factor into my decision as to whether or not I stick with this. And the great thing about OBS is I can change the, the quality so I can make them a little bit bigger and still have them smaller than, than before. Um, and make sure you share this in social media as well because it grows the channel and as it grows the channel it means more people watch and it means that it, mean, it means that I might get more ad revenue from 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 YouTube which helps support me in doing this and ultimately helps support the channel it helps support make this possible you know I don't have any sponsors it's just you guys just you and me against the world creating better Minecraft videos and in this case better than wolves videos also, I am thinking about my 100 subscribers because I'm almost up to 100 subscribers, which is cool. And I know it's not like the guys who are like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do like 100,000 subscribers. Uh, I'm going to do like a million subscribers. and I'm going to have a special event. I know it's 100, but for me, 100 is awesome. 100 is huge. I'd never thought I'd had 100. Seriously. I, I, I wouldn't think that many people would be interested in watching me play Minecraft, to be honest. Seriously. I'm serious. I didn't think I'd have that many. Uh, and for a while there, I thought I wouldn't even have 50. So that's awesome. And sharing this on your social media will help the channel grow. And it helps everybody out. So anyway, I'll leave you guys with that. Like if you like. love it. If you loved it, subscribe. And share on social media. And if you want to, you can always support me on Patreon. Link is below. Anyway, cheers guys. Bye.